Hello students, with regard to the Contract Act, Chapter 8, dealing with Contract of Indemnity and Guarantee from Section 124 till 147. We are going to discuss the questions asked in the past exams for the CA intern. So the first question on your screen, November 2015, Amit stands surety for Bikram for any amount which Chandar may lend to Bikram from time to time during the next three months. So remember, while attempting the questions, what mistake we commit? Sometimes we commit such a silly mistake that we're gonna regret forever. So while doing the questions, make sure when the questions are of certain parties in the contract of guarantee, we know there are three parties. So here Amit is S for surety and the Pikram is PD stands for principal debtor and Chandar is C for creditor. So take care so that you shall not commit any error because while attempting these names may interchange and we are not gonna get any marks. So here the guarantee is given the word used is from time to time. This is the highlighting part from here we can realize it's a question of continuous guarantee which we have done under section 129. Obviously it is during the next three months, no doubt there is time period but time to time for three months still it will be continuous guarantee. No doubt there is a maximum limit fixed of 1 lakh still it will be continuous guarantee because the amount may be limited. Further one month after Amit revokes the surety, see we have done section 130 whereby by notice surety can revoke the contract of guarantee. And it will be applicable for continuous guarantee for the transactions which are yet to take place. So you may revoke that is section 130. But for what? Future transactions. Now, but it says already the amount lent is 10,000. So for 10,000 you are going to be liable you, because you cannot revoke it. Now the question is whether Amit is discharged from all the liabilities, sorry, he will liable for Rs. 10,000. From all the liabilities to Chandar for any subsequent loan, obviously after 10,000 for any loan, he is relieved. He is discharged from his liability. What would be your answer in case Bikram makes a default in paying back to Chandar the already borrowed amount of 10,000? Obviously in this scenario, the surety is going to be liable. So that's what, so you know while attempting the question, the best way to attempt the question is firstly you quote the law on the problem. You know this is the heading you may use, law on the problem. So obviously here, you know these are in short suggested answers, so no contribution by me. This is my contribution to you. That's how you can write. Firstly what you can mention over here, this is you may mention section 129 read with 130. Why 129? Because we are talking about continuous guarantee. So you may quote one or two line out of that, but your main answer is from section number 130. And under section 130, we always say by notice the guarantee can be revoked. But as to what future transaction, now this is the main point by notice. So you must, while attempting the paper, you may write in capital letter or some bold and uh, the most crucial points you can always highlight by underlining them like future transaction. See here there is no death of surety. The question is simply asking Amit wants to revoke. There is no death regarding death of surety. We do section number 131. This is quoted over here but it is need not be mentioned because that's what question is not asking. But in shoot, in their suggested answer has mentioned and then thereafter, what we come to? We come to the conclusion. So you have quoted the law above, now conclude it. Obviously in the first part, what we said, he will discharge for any subsequent loan borrowed. But for 10,000, he is going to be lapel for that. And this is you can highlight. Just underline it. That you must do in the exam. November 2017 question. It's almost a similar question. Only the name of parties are changed. See Ramesh and Suresh are engaged in business. Ramesh stands surety for Suresh for any amount which Kamlesh may lend to Suresh from time to time. 
in the coming six months subject to a maximum limit of 85%. So you can see exactly the question is same only the parties are changed. So it is same section and the same conclusion. Next question November 2017. A gives to M a continuous guarantee to the extent of 8000 for the fruits to be supplied by M to S from time to time. So do highlight the keywords time to time from here we realize it is a question of continuous guarantee section 129. Now afterwards S has become MRS that means his financial position has gone down and he is not able to pay and without the knowledge of A M and S contract that M shall continue to supply S with the fruits for ready money and from here you can realize the facts of this particular problem are similar to a illustration under section 133 dealing with the variance in the terms of contract by PD and creditor without the consent of surety that is section 133 this is what you have done so here you may write like this way the facts of the problem are similar to the illustration under section 133 this is you may quote and that is when we have worked so hard rather you must quote it so any checker can realize from this that this student has worked really hard and then you're coming with the conclusion so now obviously there is a variation the surety will be discharged that means he is not going to be lapped Next question is a direct question November 2017 the contract of indemnity and guarantee in the class we I have given a code key to you don't mess with me PC personal computer low cup low that is time of liability uh, and the time of liability will be there is one more point we talked about that is competency so in all the difference in contract act there are three basic points M for meaning E for example S for section P for number of parties over here C number of contracts over here L for liability O is the object why these contracts are created and the time of liability when it will arise and does competency of parties under section 11 required or not thereafter May 2018 question Mr. D was in urgent need of money amounting to 5 lakh he asked Mr. K for the money. Mr. K lent the money on the sureties of A, B and N. So from here what we realized is a question of co-surety because the co-sureties are there and they are three in number without any contract between them in case of default in repayment of money by D to K. D makes the default in payment. B refused to contribute. Examine whether B can escape the liability or not. See. Under section 146, we talk about the liability of co sureties and we say they are always liable equally in equal ratio or equally unless contrary appears. So, the law is based on section 146 and they are liable jointly or they are liable jointly and that too in equal ratio unless there is a contract to contrary, which means some until something opposite is written till then they are always gonna be liable equally whether or not knowledge of each other that they are sureties or not that does not member matter so they are supposed to pay equal share so here mr b cannot escape his liability next this is november 2018 ipcc old exam question Y advances Z a loan of 10,000 on the guarantee of X at an interest of 10%. Subsequently, Z, due to some financial problems, reduced the rate of interest to 7% and also extended time for repayment of loan without the consent of what? The surety. Now, there are two things. See, firstly, rate of interest is changed. This we call it as variance in terms and section 133 is applicable secondly there is compounding compounding means setting by what PD and C without the consent of surety this is section 135 and the consequences in both the situations the surety is what he is discharged 
so this is how you must attempt the paper that the law is on the problem is based on section 133 read with 135 then you quote both the sections now going to the institute answer they have quoted only 133 and that too dealing with what the variance in the terms right so here that's what is it is mentioned y cannot sue x means the surety is discharged but i will say obviously you must quote section 135 also here because the time is extended then remember there is one more beautiful case which is inserted by ICI in its study mat which wasn't there earlier so this is the thing I would like to highlight over there that if the variance no doubt even if it is without the knowledge of surety but if it is beneficial to surety or it is not substantial means no loss to surety still the contract will be valid this was held in the supreme court case of ms aniruddhan versus thomkos bank limited so you must also quote in the exam this case that the variation which is not substantial or rather which is beneficial to surety he won't be discharged so this is the part of the answer you won't find in the ici study uh, I mean uh, material or the ICI suggested answer so this is what I have added but along with that I have added section 135 over here next question November 18 Mr. Chetan was appointed as a manager in ABC company on a two years contract on a salary of 50,000 Mr. Pawan gave surety for the Chetan's contract so for the character the guarantee is given after six months company wasn't in a position to pay the salary of 50,000 because of financial constraints Chetan agreed for a lower salary of 30,000 from the company so again this is section 135 133 and 133 again talks about the variance and if it is without the consent of surety the surety will be discharged and there is a illustration also to it where the salary instead of here it is being reduced there is an illustration where the salary was being increased but along with the obligation also number one illustration under section 133 so this wasn't communicated to the surety three months after it was discovered that Chetan had been doing fraud from the time since his appointment so principal debtor is committing some frauds so now is surety gonna be liable so prima facie going by section 133 that is the consent is not obtained there is a variance so what will say he will be discharged from his liability he will discharge but now see over here one very interesting thing comes like I quoted the case over here if the variance is not substantial or rather it is beneficial to surety the surety won't be discharged now see over here it's a salary of the employees being reduced so we make say this is the alteration which is not substantial right so the problem here is shall we quote this case or not so I will say you quote this case especially when the alteration is beneficial to surety like here when the rate of interest from 10% to 7% it was reduced so we will say here the surety shall not discharge so there is a, some element of interpretation also thanks to this particular case but you can always quote it if you feel like now may 2019 question manoj guarantees for ranjan a merchant for one lakh for which sharma the supplier again see from time to time this is exactly the illustration given under section 129 with regard to continuous guarantee so from time to time we realize it's a question on continuous guarantee rather than on specific guarantee so now what happened see coming to the the question is can he be discharged from liability can he be discharged from liability so obviously in case of continuous guarantee it's the same question we have done earlier also by giving the notice under section 130 for all those future transactions or you may call it subsequent transactions he can avoid his liability so but the point is if any transaction is already 
entered into he cannot escape from his liability next question november 2019 c advances b rupees 2 lakh on the guarantee of a c has taken a further security so it's not a question of surety it's a security for the same by mortgage of b's furniture if you will find over here if you can recall section 141 there is a illustration the facts of this problem are copy paste of the illustration under section 145 one and we have done all the illustrations because i have always told you in the class you may get the question on each and every illustration now see what the illustration says what section 141 says 141 says the moment pd defaults surety has to pay but he has one right against creditor he must get all the securities given by the pd to the creditor so creditor must hand over if creditor fails the surety will be discharged by that amount now here what has happened the creditor has cancelled the mortgage so you have cancelled the mortgage and the market value of the furniture is 80,000. So surety here will be discharged by 80,000. So he's going to be liable, but for the balance amount of what? 1,20,000. Next question. November 2019. Nilesh guaranteed the honesty of Sri Nath in the employment of Gurudev. Sri Nath was found guilty of dishonesty in the course of his service, but still Gurudev continued to employ him so what has happened over here he has committed the fraud but you continued why you continued because he got the surety nilesh has given the surety so as a creditor you are under obligation here while making contract of guarantee under section 143 this shall not be any concealment because concealment is fraud so if you disclose if you fail to disclose the past act of the employee here the contract of guarantee will become what invalid again you will find the facts of the problem are similar to the illustration under section 143 so here because of this thing we'll say he will discharge because the guarantee is not valid right now there is some technical issue in the question please go through that and what is that see what is mentioned over here nilesh has guaranteed this the honesty of the employee and uh, the creditor the pd was found guilty but the creditor continued did not inform nilesh subsequently the srinath committed further act of dishonesty now here some presumption goes like the note mentioned over here in the given question it may also be presumed that firstly because it is not mentioned that firstly he committed the fraud and then guarantee was given so we may presume so in certain cases certain questions that is what we call interpretation so you have to make the interpretation and you can give your footnote while attempting the questions so firstly the guarantee was given by nilesh and then srinath committed the first act of dishonesty in this case now what will happen the institute says section 137 will be attracted now section 137 does not make any sense because section 137 says surety will be liable if there is a delay in filing a suit against pd so section 137 has no relevance but rather what you will say if the guarantee is given firstly and then he committed the dishonesty we'll quote over here what surety will be love so the suggested answer over here creates an ambiguity so these are suggested answers so what can be added what we can ignore xyz all the things i'm sharing with you so never take the answers of the ICA suggested answers that they are going to be 100 percent accurate because it's a law and anyone can make, commit some mistake now this is mcq question lawrence contracts to save rosie against any proceeding which meet peter may initiate against rosie for rupees one lakh obviously it's a direct question it's under section 124 
it's simply a contract of indemnity so option number c next question having two parts november 2020 mr cb was invited to guarantee an employee mr bd was previously dismissed for dishonesty by the same employer now this is concealment this is exactly this question of nilish but here see firstly the employee committed the fraud thereby uh, this guarantee was given here the creditor is under obligation to disclose the fact to the surety if he won't surety will discharge under section 143 due to concealment and the contract of guarantee will be invalid so now here the employee further embezzled the funds whether cb is liable for the financial loss as security obviously he won't be liable over here because the fact is concealed from him that is you have remained silent over here concealment second part mr agree x agreed to give a loan to y on the security again the word is some securities are given for securities mr a gave the guarantee against the loan actually mr x gave a loan of smaller amount on the security of the three properties whether a is liable as surety in case mr y failed to repay the loan see what is there that's something uh bit mistake we make commit so it's a good question i'll say so you must know which questions are good so this is a star question what it says mr x again read it agree to give a loan to y so x is greater y is pd on the security of four properties a is the surety gave the guarantee against the loan actually mr x what he did gave a loan of smaller amount see every loan is a separate contract so initially when the contract of guarantee was made you must have told to the surety this is the loan i want to give but now what are you doing you are giving the loan on the different amounts different denomination so don't you think this is what this is variance so he won't be liable section 133 so that's a good question again the same question asked november 2020 difference the code key mess pc low then january 2021 question satya has given his residential property on rent 25000 per month to tushar amit became surety for the payment of rent see rent has to be obtained each month so this is a case of continuous guarantee and section number 129 will apply continuous guarantee now subsequently without amit's consent tushar agreed to pay a higher rent to satya now what has happened the terms of the contract are changed by pd and c without informing surety so again the uh, question is on section 133 variance so from here you can realize 70 percent of the questions rather more than 70 percent of the questions are asked from section number 133 after a few months of this tushar defaulted so firstly it's a direct question asked what is the meaning of contract of guarantee which we study under section 126 contract of a guarantee is a contract to perform promise or discharge liability of third person in case of his default so there are two things in a contract of guarantee that is perform the promise number two discharge the liability of third person in case of his default now going to the second part what is the position of amit as i said under section 133 he will due to variation because it is again without his what consent so he will discharge now again i have quoted the case over here ms aniruddham versus thomco's bank you know because what has happened here the rent was 25000 but what has happened happened to the rent amount that is being increased so by that the liability of the surety increases so this case do not forget applies when the alteration is not material when the alteration or the variance rather you may say is beneficial to what surety here it is not beneficial but going by the ensued answer why i i mean added to the answer because the ensued answer says it is immaterial whether 
variation is beneficial to surety or does not materially affect because of this case the things will change so please do take care of this particular case now july 2021 question paul is a minor purchased a smartphone on credit from a mobile dealer on the surety given by jack now you have to use your brain over here see who is paul paul has bought the goods his principal debtor over here the surety is given by jack so who is jack jack is surety over here the mobile dealer demanded the payment from jack because of the contract entered with minor is void obviously see in contract of guarantee we say there are three contracts so the contract between pd and c is obviously void why because the parties must be competent this is what we study under section 11 that you must be of the age of majority section 10 we talk about essentials of a valid contract now we know this contract is void but there is another contract between s and c and this is what we call as contract of guarantee here the surety is not minor it is clearly mentioned he is a major so this contract is valid now what happened mr jack argued that he is not liable why because principal debtor is not liable sorry you are competent this contract of guarantee is what valid and that's why you gonna be what liable because you are what competent number 2 what will be your answer if jack and paul both are minor see if jack is going to be minor so again the contract of guarantee will become what void right so the second part of answer would differ thank you